you're welcome back guys this is a continuation of uh, how to cut a freehand method of cutting our basic bodies and this is the installation of the zip okay so if you didn't watch the part one you can as well go and watch that one so now we want to fix our zip to our basic bodies we are using the longest stitch okay because you want to seal up that zip line you want to seal up the zip allowance so that's why we're using the longest stitch after installing our zip we are going to lose it okay So now, after sewing our zipper allowance, the next thing, all you want to do now is change our zip, change our stitch length so we can begin installing our zip. So this is our zip. Ensure it can open smoothly. That is the top part of our zip. So we are turning our zip to the back side, like so. Make sure it is lying on that same line. And we are going to sew our zipper. Make sure you are seeing on, on, not on the teeth of the zip, but beside the zip. We are using the normal stitch length now to sew. You don't want to use that long, longer stitch. You want to use the normal stitch length, two or three. Number two or number three. It's okay. Now we are done sewing one side of our zip and we are turning it over to sew the other side of our zip. Please ensure you are not sewing on the teeth of the zip. Your needle should sew just beside the teeth of the, the zip. Okay. Now we are done sewing our zip. Want to trim out the threads. Now we want to rip out that first uh, stitch we made. You remember the first stitch we made before installing our zip? That stitch was made to just keep our fabric in place so that we can easily install our zip. So we are ripping out our first stitch so we can reveal as you can see our, our zip is not is not showing on this other side of the material. So when we are ripping out this the first stitch we made, you see it will start revealing our zip. That is why we used a loose stitch to sew on it in the first place. That's how we use the longest stitch. We are still ripping out our that first stitch. You want to be very careful so you don't rip out the stitch of your zip. As you can see your zip is coming out. Please be very careful and ensure it is not the stitch that is holding onto your zip that you're ripping out. So our zip is 
out well installed so that process is very easy and my best method of installing is it makes my zip comes out perfectly now we are done with our zip you can see our zip came out very beautiful the next thing you want to do when you're seeing your baby body is lay your fabric right side facing each other the front piece and the back piece and you know you start sewing so that is it for this lesson see you in my next lesson bye